You've got two buttons, dive and kick. That's it. Everything you're seeing here comes from two buttons. It's a big joke on the face of the quote unquote fighting game community, which succeeds both in being a joke and being really, really playable in its own right. Strip away everything from fighting games except jump ins, and this is basically what you're left with. And then re add things like special attacks just to make it feel a little more 21st century. And then take the piss with the rest of it, such that your cast consists of in jokes like this strange mashup of Kung Lao and Chell, what I'm using right here. And then dive and kick your opponents while trying not to laugh too hard at the absurdity of it all. <laughs> For such a stupid idea, and let's not kid ourselves, this at its core is a stupid idea, Dive Kick takes itself just seriously enough to be an enjoyable game. There's a surprising amount of strategy at play here, with each character putting those two buttons to use slightly differently. And that's all there is. Two buttons, no D-pad, no joystick, no nothing. You want to move forward? Dive and kick. You want to move backward? Kick while standing. And yet, inside these limitations, the action is fast and furious. I mentioned that every hit is a one-hit kill? It's like absurdist kick fencing, which I'm fairly certain is a term from Brave New World. Everything comes down to knowing your timing, knowing your opponent's timing, and being able to capitalize, or punish, to use a term I feel kind of decent about using, an opponent's miss. That shoe-shaped gauge down in your corner charges power for your special attacks, two per character, one ground-based and one area. Or blow the whole thing to engage kick factor, which... Dear God, I can't keep going on with this madness. Kick Factor. It's like X Factor, but for kicks. Everything in the game just drips of, if it's funny, jam it in there. Want Castlevania references? Absurd streams of consciousness? Fraud and choke detection warnings? Callouts to any number of fighting games from character designs and inspiration to the very retro styled music that plays while you're diving and kicking? They're all in there, some more sensible than others. There might be a chance you don't get the whole salt phenomenon or some of the character design choices based on real people you don't know, unless you live and breathe fighting games, in which case, the hell are you listening to me for? You've got diving and kicking to attend to. I'm just trying to make it comprehensible for anyone who looks at this and thinks, dude, this has to be some flash-based Adult Swim parody. There's no way this could be real. Round four, die kick. Well, buckle up, Spanky, because it totally, totally is. Sure, the graphics look a bit on the cheap side, at least for everything that isn't flashy text effects. Sure, the achievements are 93% online-centric, so that five-headshot game you just ran against the computer doesn't count because it wasn't in a ranked online match. That said, the online framework uses GGPO, so it's quick and responsive when and if you feel like venturing into the festering swamp of online, where these caricatures actually live and breathe. I might pass on that part. But even if you've only had passing contact with the fighting genre, you can immediately pick up and enjoy Dive Kick. Just make sure your shoes are on tight and you're wearing proper orthopedic support.